Well, hey, YouTube. I am back with another book reviews because I read a lot. I told you. When I started sharing my books on here, I was going to share books on here. <laughs> and not my books. Although, hopefully by the time this is posted, I have shared some stuff about my upcoming novel release with you. Although I don't have a official uh, date at all that I will be sharing in the video. Um, I should have shared some, some stuff by now. And if not, no spoilers. I'll, I'll get there. So anyway, I hope you're well. Thank you for putting up with my uh, long period of silence and then my random burst of videos. But here's another one. I read a pile of books in September and I'm here to share my reviews with you. As always, they are just how I felt about books. They have no, um, you know, they're not for you to, like, for me to tell you to read them or not read them. Or maybe you hated them and I loved them. Or maybe I hated them and you loved them. That's cool. We're not here to argue. I just wanted to share book stuff. And so that's what we're going to do. <laughs> uh, here is my stack. It's all fuddled because I just recorded a TikTok. And then I was like, you know what? I'm rolling with it. We're in the mood. We're doing it. So here you go. Hello. I am slowly learning how to edit my videos better and flip them around. So you can actually read the stuff that I'm sharing and it's not all ass backwards. Wish I had done that a really long time ago. But I wear many hats and I do all the things myself and I'm still looking for somebody to help me. So if you have vid video editing skills or, um, or editing skills, because my two primary editors do not want to edit the work I am about to publish. And I'll share more on that on the next one. But anyway, if you have stuff that you could, you know, I don't want to say volunteer your time, but I'm still like on the single mom budget. So like if we can work out like a budget <laughs> that's friendly for both of us, like I'm hoping somebody will just do this on their spare time or as a like as a hobby and isn't like a, I don't like I'm not asking for like a professional, like somebody that charges like 50 bucks an hour or whatever. But, you know, like it's somewhere in the middle. Anyway. I'm chatting your ear off about stuff that doesn't matter. I digress. Let's get to the books. First book I'm going to share with you is a collection of three authors that wrote some steamy stories. It is called Bad Boys to Go. Uh, Lori Foster, Janelle Dennison, and Nancy Warren. Two of them were really great. One I wasn't a super big fan of, but that's okay. Um, I, I, I liked it. They were fun, they were spicy, they were quick reads, and yeah, three, four stars. Definitely recommend, if you like spice. Steaming King Night Shift. Um, this was great. I was just really hesitant to include it because I have read it before, but whatever. That's my, my judgments I put on where I can, what I can consider a read or a reread is my prerogative, not you guys. I have read this before. But the reason I reread it was because my high schooler is reading it in Writer's Craft and I thought it would be cool to reread because um, it had been a while. And I forgot what stories were in here and they were really good. Uh, Children of the Corn comes from here. So does something else that's um, I'm pretty sure new. Um, like they've made like a show about it. I'm not 100% sure though. So I'm going to circle back to that. But I'm pretty sure something came up recently that, um, that was based off a story in here. If you know, I would love to hear from you in the comments. If you're looking for an old King book to read, Night Shift, bunch of short stories, really good. Lead and Deep by Kylie Scott is like a rock star romance. It's books three and four to... Um, Books one and two that I read earlier this year um, called Lick and Play. And Lick was my L book. So if you are following me on other social media outlets, uh, you may remember that at the beginning of the year, I wanted to read through the alphabet. And then I stopped sharing at Y on TikTok. And I know a couple people were like, well, what happened to Z? 
it's just because I haven't read it yet. And I'm going to get there. Um, it's part of my spooky reads. But so uh, Lick was my owl read. And I really liked it. It was pretty good. They're just short stories about this band and all the different band members, like, meeting a girl and what happens. Like, in the first one, they get, like, drunkenly married on, like, the first time they meet. And then the other ones are not, like, as, like, crazy as that. But it's got smut, but I wouldn't say it's, like, smutty. Like, I would say, like, you know, there's some kissing scenes that go with the story. But not like it's not like what I write, and it's not like smut, smut. So I picked up a bunch of Fear Street books, and I'm kind of reading through them. Whether like some I know for sure I've read, um, and I like I've I've kept over the years. So, but these ones I either don't remember reading or don't think I read. Um, so I got the overnight. I wasn't a super big fan. It's it's very typical, like, I don't want to say very typical Fear Street because, like, it was just, like, it, it, uh, I don't know. Like, it's a, cup, a couple of kids, their teacher says they can't go to the island um, for a school trip, but then they go anyway, and then there's, like, spooky, oh, is, the, is, it, is, it the, is it a killer? Are they a ghost? And then, you know, there are some really good R. R. L. Stein Fear Street books, and this just wasn't top of my list. But I love R. L. Stein. I could freaking love R. L. Stein, and then that that became like the joke that my ex used to always pick on me about that I would never be R. L. Stein. I don't want to be R. L. Stein because I want to write about penises. I don't think R. L. Stein writes about penises. He does write some weird stuff. You know, I used to write a Rika's Castle. I'm aging myself and dating, like outing myself as like a Canadian. Like if you're not. Canadian and not like above the age of probably 35 or 40 you don't know what Eureka's Castle is but R.L. Stein used to write for Eureka's Castle which is super cool and um random fact and I write about penises okay <laughs> <laughs> lying in wait was okay um it's basically about a murder and then, like, a family who murders somebody, and that's not a spoiler, that's, like, it's about a family who murders somebody. Um, but it's about the aftermath of the murder on their family, and, like, what the victims go through, and what they go through. It had a weird ending, and I'm not sure I super liked it. I guess it was okay. Uh, I gave it, like, three stars. It was not my favorite read this month at all. This was The Last Hair to Blackwood Library uh, by Hester Fox. I thought was amazing. It is about a woman in just after World War I in England. And she inherits... She's the first woman in a very long line of men to inherit like this giant estate with a library. It's, mo it's mostly focused around a library. And it's haunted. And it's weird. In a creepy way. And I loved it. And I and it was great. It was the only five star. Well, A Thief of All was, was five star, but in a different way. This was the only five star, like, real good book read that I read. And, and, and let me, somebody's going to jump on me before you let me explain. Uh, I also read Clive Barker, A uh, Thief of Always. And the only thing I'm saying is that I, this is like an adult children's horror. It's not like a book like a big old th thick novel of like whatever but it was really good five star read i'd never read it before um it had come up somewhere the artwork in this is incredible i went over it on tiktok i'm going to show you guys too if you haven't seen it um it had come up somewhere either as in my late teens or i don't know and i really wanted to read it and i just never had gotten a chance and then it came up in a book group or i don't know thrift it was somewhere. I think it was online. Um, and somebody was selling it. And I was like, oh, me, please, me, please. Um, because I'm, I'm getting some spooky reads for October. Most of them, I like, I, just stuff I have kicking around that I haven't read. So it's nothing, like, new or crazy. Um, but, I, yeah, I was gathering up some spooky stuff for October. And I thought this would be a good read. So I read it. To me, it reads like a children's, like an adult's children's story. It's the only way I know how to explain it. Like, this is not for children. 
This is an adult read, but it's like a children's horror story. Um, and I loved it. That was fantastic. Good thing I'm done my book review because it sounds like the road workers are back. My favorite thing to do lately has been to drink coffee at my kitchen window and watch the school, the school buses went through the construction zone like 15, 20 kilometers faster than they're supposed to be going, especially because it's a construction zone and there's like guys in the, on the road. And they'll hit the big orange and black pylons with the school bus. And they will smoke those fuckers and just send them flying. I had a picture one that ended up my lawn the other day and it's like flat. Like these are big construction cones and they're like, they're flat because the school bus is just, and it's full of kids. And you know, they think that is awesome. They're all like, yes, like safety first kids. None of you are wearing a seatbelt and we're about to kill somebody today. I'm plowing through the construction zone. Please don't flag me. It was a joke, okay? I'm going to leave. I'm going to get myself in trouble. I'm just getting videos back out of here. I'm going to get striked. Okay, bye. I'm out of here. Much love. Please like this. Please subscribe. I am well over 100,000 views at this point and growing. 101,000, I think. Um, I just need like 400 more subscribers. And then maybe, 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 maybe like three of my videos will be allowed to be monetized. Like even my book reviews, I posted the last one as like under made for kids. And then they were like, oh, you said X, Y, Z and you swore. And I was like, it's not made for kids, but it's the only way I can get monetized is if it's not listed as not made for kids. So I don't know. Can you go buy my books? Thanks. Bye.